What if he were alive for this? What if he didn't go paddle boarding with his girlfriend? What if he didn't do it? Like, what if he just stayed home? You know, I mean, I was always taught to not question God. It was like somebody grabbed my stomach and ripped it right out of my body. And it was awful. And then the first thing that went through my head is how am I going to tell his mom? And then when I called her, uh, it was very hard. She, she dropped the phone and she was screaming at the top of her lungs. And I know that scream because, because my mom has the same type of scream that my brother's death. Um, and it's a scream that you don't ever want to hear, especially when you're a parent. It was very, very hard to hear that. When my parents said that he drowned, that's when I knew he was actually dead. What happened, they, they were both struggling to get back to the board, and he ended up pushing her up into the board, on the board, to safety. And when she turned around to try to pull him back up, he had gone under. And at that point, he never came back up. That's when I found out that he saved his girlfriend. I don't know uh, at that point if he knew, um, but none of us knew that that, that, that he, saved, he saved his own child's life. So Ariz is pregnant and Corvell is going to be a dad. If fortitude could acquire tangibility, it would embody Corvell Simmons and the survivors of grief. Corvell's legacy precedes him as it was a privilege to witness, but he was so much more. He was a beloved son. He told me, he gave me a hug and you know, we embraced each other and I just told him I was very proud of him and he told me, I just wanna let you know that I will always be your son and I thank you for being that father that I, that I always wanted and you're no longer a coach, you're dad to me. And he was beyond confident. Um, Corvell used to come in here into my office every day and, and stand in front of the trophy case and there was a mirror in the back of the trophy case and he would say, Miss, do you see him? Do you see this young man right here? Isn't he handsome? And he was beyond ambitious. So Corvell had it in his mind that he was going to become a psychologist. Um, that was probably after he became an actor and became, um, you know, very, very wealthy because as coach, I'm not trying to work for a minimum wage just to have to pay rent, pay for my food, then go back to work to do it again. That's just not what Corp Easy does. <laughs> He's brought light in my life, made me happier, taught me a, some lessons in life, how to be a better person, and how to respect people. Corval Simmons was a blessing. Gone too soon, but whose soul is too alive to not live on. Ruby Arora, Cronkite News. For the way that she died.